Hi there. In this video, I will show you how to add a countdown timer onto a Kajabi checkout page using a tool called Countdown Hero. It's a great tool that currently offers a lifetime deal for just $69 and it allows you very similar to Deadline Funnel to put countdown timers onto your sales pages and inside your emails. And those timers can be unique for each subscriber. So they're perfect for evergreen timers. So make sure to check out the link in the description to see if this is a good fit for you. And I have a lot more videos on how to do the setup, like a basic setup and make sure to check those out. If you haven't uh, figured out that part just yet, this video is a little bit more advanced as this goes into adding the timer onto a Kajabi checkout page. It's different from adding it onto a landing page, which is fairly easy in Kajabi, but for some reason it just won't work on a checkout page. So I had to find a workaround and that's what I'm showing you in this video. Okay, let's go. So real quick, I want to show you that if I take a piece of code here from the timer, and again, if you need help with setting this up, make sure to check out my other uh, videos and blog posts on that. But I'm taking this code and if we're simply on a landing page here, we can simply add a section with custom code here. And we put in the code, we save the page, we open it, and then we'll see that the code is here, right? It's working. Now, if we do the same thing on a checkout page, let me show you, it's simply not working. We can put in the code, but it's not showing. So let's see real quick and then I'll come to the solution. So here is an offer and we go to the checkout and there is no way to add custom code, but we can go to the page content and then go to the source code section here of this text um, field. And then here at the top, for example, we can add in the code save the page and as you'll see it's not here right it is just not showing up and if you um, go to another page and come back here you'll even notice that the code is gone from here so it is just not working so the solution is that we are going to embed this exact piece here of the checkout page. So the checkout form onto a landing page, because as you've seen, we can put the code from countdown here onto a landing page. So we're putting the countdown, uh, sorry, the checkout form onto a landing page in Kajabi. And then we use that to put a code on there. So what you need to do, first of all, is to go to your settings. And then from my blog, let me just close these out from my blog take the first piece of code here under number one we copy that and we go to settings and then site details and then to the header script section here header page scripts you scroll all the way down i already put it in but this is where you would paste that in and then you hit save and this code was created by jason go and i'm very happy that he did because now we can make this work now we go back to settings and we do the same thing but this time for the checkout settings and again, we go to the header tracking code section, added that, and you likely will find it empty or you'll see some pieces of code for something else. And then you can simply hit enter and add this code in and hit save. Okay, so that is the first part. Now what we need to do is go to your checkout offer, sorry, to your, um, so sales offers to your offer, and we need to, to get the link here. So we copy this link and now what we do, we are going to a website and pages, landing pages. And for this example, I'm simply going to create a new landing page so that you can see exactly how it works. give it a title and we create the page. Now, like I said, the form, the checkout form is going to be very minimal. Like it's the bare minimum of the form. Nothing from the checkout page is going to come across. So any of the styling will need to happen on here, right? So for example, in the hero section, I'm going to delete the image and for text, I'm just going to say, um, course name. Oh no, it's not big anymore. Let's change that back to 
Come on, here we go. Here we go. So you put your course name, for example, and we go back and then here we add, um, let's see, we can do a custom section. And in here, we're going to add, you can style this however you want, right? But let's do an image for six columns wide. And I'll just use this image for now. Why is it not loading? Select. Okay, there we go. Save. We go back and now here comes the thing. So here we put code. Where is the code? Custom code. And we delete this and we paste in that URL from our offer, right? Now we are going to paste in, wait, one more thing. Behind this here, you put slash checkout. That's important. Okay. Um, now you go back to my blog and you take uh, this piece of code under number two. No, under number four, my apologies. Number one and two are the same, and that's for the uh, website settings and the header tracking code for the checkout settings. What we now need is what's here under number four. So we copy this and paste that in the same field. And now we copy this URL again from our form. We cut that out and we actually paste that in here in between those quotation marks. So we're replacing the URL that was there with our checkout page URL. Save. And now when you open this, you will see that your checkout is here, right? So now you can style this page however you want. And what you'll need to do next is that save this, go back, and of course we need to publish the page. We take the URL here, and now this is what we'd be putting into our uh, let's just start a new one so you can see it. Create new. Kajabi testing checkout. Um, let's say we give them 48 hours. And here is where that landing page URL goes, right? So before their timer expires, this is where they go. After, I'm just going to send them to my website. And if they're not in the system, I'm also just going to send them to my website. I put it in test mode. I click save and get code. And again, more help with this is definitely in other videos in a better explained and slower way. Um, so now we can take the timer right here and we go back onto the page and we put in a code section. And we paste in this code, we save go back. And now when we look at the page, you'll see that we have the timer and you can obviously put it at the top if you prefer that that makes more sense. But um, by just dragging this um, section up here, for example, right, and then make sure that you have the margins and stuff smaller so that it doesn't look so big. Um, but that's basically how it works. You now have your checkout on a landing page and the landing page can have the timer. So this is how it works. Um, let me know if you love it, like, and subscribe. And yeah, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments as well. Bye.